Hello. I I got a microphone today. I I just recently got this. It's um it's a blue Yeti microphone. I'm I'm very excited to try this out. Um I don't have any exactly a proper setup for it, but uh you know, I'm experimenting with this video, so I thought why not? Uh <laughs> Uh, you can see I'm doing that over there. Uh, it sounds really nice in here. I am touching this thing way too much. It's making too much stuff. Nope. Is this good? Is this what you guys want? All right, all right. Give me a second. This is nicer, much more chill. Hey, how are you doing? Yeah, <laughs> this is the this is the worst idea I've ever had. Welcome back to uh, another one of these things, I guess. Uh, it's it's been quite it's been quite some time. I think uh. I think it's been long enough. Uh, it's definitely been long enough. I don't know if I made enough content, though. That, that's a different story. So let's uh, let's see what uh, what I've been doing in the meantime, uh, <laughs> in between stuff. So before I get into any of that, I just want to say that uh, this is. Probably, yeah, it is the first video where I am openly acknowledging the uh, new logo that I've made for uh, for myself, both channel and for my social medias outside of YouTube, which is two of them. Look, man, screw Facebook. No one, no one gives a damn anymore. I do not like w that this is at an angle. It's giving me too much agita. It's giving me too nervous. Ooh. I am not meant for high quality sounds, obviously. Now, in referencing the new logo, I just want to say right now, I love that original logo with all of my heart. That logo I made in 2012. Like, back when I was still in high school, I was, like, all I knew <clears throat> about Optical Drop is that it was, like, my Xbox, my Xbox Live username, and it's really the only bit of identity of myself that I was 100% confident with, uh, other than my sexuality, but I'm not, I'm not going to that territory. <laughs> um, th there were just things... I don't want to get too personal, but there were things uh, about me during that time where I was just very depressed and unsure of and scared, and I I just didn't know what to do. But if there was one thing I did know, it was that uh, that sub identity. I guess I could classify it as. I, I don't know what else to what else to say. Uh, but the uh, uh, the logo I designed. Uh, to be somewhat uh, t to represent what that identity is about like I'm a graphic designer I make uh, like I had a whole class in logo design pre previously like before then so that's why it's like uh, that's why I felt it was like a big deal to to uh, to, to make something like that it, 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 it felt personal. It was me. It was a, it was like a tangential identity, so to speak. That's why uh, it fucking sucked that I had to, <laughs> I had to abandon it essentially. Uh, so, yeah. here's the thing. I knew the logo was not exactly the most amazing looking thing in the world. Okay, again, I made it in high school. See, that's exactly what I was afraid of. So, when I say that I 
didn't want to replace the logo. I mean it, okay? I mean that, for real. But I just had this idea of of the logo looking more like I know not everyone's into that whole minimalism thing and like I, I get that uh, but the thing is it really works for logos it's so important when it comes to logo design uh, when it comes to uh, logo t uh, like name logos maybe but for single image logos like, you know, Target's got the circle, McDonald's got the M, Nike got the swoosh. Um, those are picture logos. Font logos or text logos, that's actually the name of that brand. Like, if you see Target spelt out, that's the Target font logo. Minimal minimalism doesn't necessarily always work best in that favor, but it's absolutely mandatory for picture or image logos. So that's why I decided to come up with an idea of how to best minimalize the uh, Optical Drop logo. And just like one day I just randomly thought of it, I'm like, huh, that would actually be better. But the problem was, as you can imagine, I'm, I'm, I was a little attached to the original, so placing that um, I, I was not ready for that yet, so like I let it simmer for a bit, and then I eventually had the balls to actually draw the thing, and I'm like, oh my god, it actually looks so good. And yeah, then I just <laughs> uh, then I just incorporated it. Yeah, I uh... yeah that. That's the story of the new logo. I, I will say I went on this whole rant about like font logos and they don't have to be minimalistic. Meanwhile, the font that I use has huge minimalist uh, inspirations. And here's the thing. It doesn't have to. Okay, it, it's required for, for picture logos, but for font it's objectively not as important. Um, some would argue it, it is, uh, I'm, I'm not getting into that. <laughs> um, so when I say, like, that, I don't want you to think of me as a hypocrite when I show you the, the new text or font logo for, uh, like, you'll see it on the channel banner. Um, I personally like it. I literally just made it out of bits and pieces of the actual logo itself. Uh, I think the hardest letter to make though was the A. It originally looked more like a Q, uh, but then I'm like, fine, I'll put in actual effort in the logo there, I guess. <laughs> um, no, but I like it. It's very stylish, and I'm a big fan of that. I haven't done too much content-wise, but in terms of what I have to catch up with, uh, there's a lot more. Like I said, I got the new microphone. Big old baby blue. Uh, interestingly enough, uh, the coloration I chose, like, the body is white, the little nubs and other metal uh, components are more of a bronze color, uh, and the handle, and subsequently the base, but only the top of the base, like, the side of the base is bronze as well, but the handle is silver. I thought that the white base was also silver from the box. Uh, turns out, no. Uh, it's just... It, it actually is three colors. My mother was right. Uh, she called it. But you know what? I don't care. I like it anyway. Uh, in fact, I like it even more now because of that. Because it gives it personality. It makes it look unique. It, it's not exactly every other freaking microphone out there where it's just like, oh, it's, it's all black or it's all white, you know? And this is my first time trying it out, so, uh, hope you don't mind that I don't have a pop filter yet. Uh, I'll, I'll work on that in the future. I'll also work on a setup that doesn't involve me contorting my spine. That, that would be nice. <laughs> so, what have I done? Well, I've 
made a few entries into the Nuzlocke, um, but the real first video that I made... <laughs> uh, okay, let me explain this. I have friends. Believe it or not, I have actual friends. And... And me and these friends, we make jokes, right? We make quips. There we go. So, with these quips, uh, uh, we end up making fun of each other. Now, one of these jokes stems from how I, we were in having a discussion about video games. And... I don't exactly remember what the topic of the discussion was, but at some point, um, I bring up an example of what a bad sequel is. I think that's what it was. I think the topic was bad sequels, or un less than ideal sequels. Like, bad sequels. <laughs> so, so I decide to express my frustrations with Fossil Fighters Frontier. One of the... This is a true fact, by the way. One of the worst video games ever made. It, it's a true fact, believe it or not. And... Uh... <laughs> I end up... going on about the topic for longer than everyone else has been with their topics um personally i will i will defend this to the ends of the earth that was like i spent 10 minutes okay i spent 10 freaking minutes they all played that i spent 30 it was one joke but it was like 45 minutes uh, <laughs> uh, but it was 10 minutes! I swear! Okay? Regardless, the memes ensued, uh, mostly courtesy of Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. You could go, uh, straight to hell for all I care. Uh, <laughs> uh no, but seriously, they were funny. I was endorsing it, in fact. Uh, anything to bring light to how bad of a game Fossil Fighters Frontier is. Uh, have I ever mentioned how bad of a game it is? I made a whole video about it. Uh, by the way, uh, uh, special thanks to my friend, uh, uh, Madison, who just straight up said, can you make a video just screaming and being annoyed about Fossil Fridays Frontier? And I told her, I'll do you one even better. That's a great idea, but I'll do you one even better. I will make a serious, actually serious video. Well, except I serious. Uh, I'll make a serious review and discussion around the game. But I, I would fail myself. I, I don't know if I... Yeah. <laughs> so... So yes. I, uh... This really is... Still getting used to this, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so yeah. I... Uh... I got the idea from my friends to make the video talking about why... <laughs> um... Uh, why, why the game is basically Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. And I'm not even alone on it. Like, literally, I met someone, like, the other day who, like, someone brought up a joke and they were like, Oh, Fossil Fighters? I like that game. And I'm like, Really? Well, what'd you think of Frontier? Oh, that game fucking sucked. It was basically Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. I'm like, I know, right? I went, I lost my goddamn mind. That guy's my new best friend. I'm, I'm telling you right now. Uh, yeah, I made the video. Uh, it's about as long as I expected it to be. I, I wanted to go in depth on that. All right, you, you have no idea how pissed off I was with that game. I was so annoyed. So it, it's really 
I'm personally glad that I was able to put, I, and I think I did a fairly good job of, of explaining why the game sucks. Um, I even put a comment at, uh, on the video because I forgot to mention, like, the theme song, think of the actual worst anime children's theme song. It's a million times worse than that. I dare you to Google it. I fucking dare you to Google the Fossil Fighters front team, Frontier theme song. So that was fun. Um, and then I made a steamed hams meme about it. <laughs> okay, that, that I need to explain. Okay, so... You know how I said I, I had a discussion with my friends about the, the game? Well, this discussion took place uh, in a club uh, at my campus. Uh, uh, I'm, I, I've said it before, like, I don't keep it a secret. I go to Adelphi University. Um, uh, currently, I'm in my senior year, which, you know, I'm not existential right now or anything. Uh, in it, It's called Games Club. We literally just talk and play, we, we talk about and play video games. One of the weeks we had a discussion, the discussion was about past sequels, and we talked about Fossil Fighters. And, so, me bringing up Fossil Fighters, a lot of the people on the e-board was annoyed with how I went about discussing it, just because of the nature of it. But you know, it led to some funny jokes, so they forgave me eventually, I think, I hope. Um, and they, <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's just, I, I, I'm so aware of just how stupid it is that I decided, you know, doing an in-depth review of one of the worst video games ever made by Nintendo isn't enough. What if, what if I just meme on myself? And, you know, I didn't have that thought, but uh, I was, I promised this was relevant to when the to when the steamed ham memes were a thing. Um, and not to say that they're uh, not good anymore. It's just that you know, it's not relevant uh, memes and stuff. But um, so yeah, like I was, you know, hearing some uh, YouTube comedians talk about. Uh, Offhandedly make some steam pan uh, jokes, and I, and I don't know why, but I just suddenly had the the thought in my head of like, like, <laughs> just like, what if I were to take my head of English to a particular franchise? Like, yeah, you know, like I had like those ideas, like not those exact words because they were in my head. I had to write it eventually, but um. And then everything just clicked. Every single line, one after the other. I'm just like, I, I just kind of came to the realization I can make an entire steamed ham meme out of the situation. Literally, sentence for sentence from that skit. If I just replace certain things, it just works. And my God. It was so much fun to make. I made it within a single day. So like, the day before, I wrote down a script and went to bed because it was super late at night. Because that's when I had the idea to do it. Uh, wake, up, wake up the next morning. Uh, I download a rip of the video on YouTube. Uh, I remove the audio, well, most of the audio. And I, I, I record myself, but I don't sync it up to anything because I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> um, and weirdly enough, uh, a lot of it synced on its own anyway, at, at least near the end. Uh, I don't know, is I, I just got lucky. And uh, the uh, the editing took the whole freaking day. Like, it's weird, because, like, I made the I made that video on behind the meme 
within a day as well, arguably in less time, but that thing was like 45 minutes. The Steam Hand meme is like three and a half. <laughs> I, I don't know, like, I put so much effort into syncing everything up. Uh, I think my only regret is that the voice of the mother is really impossible to, to comprehend what she's saying. And it's kind of my fault because I'm not good at women's voices! And, um, yeah, uh, I had a lot of fun with that. Literally, <laughs> every, everything in that steamed hand meme is 100% accurate. I can attest to that. Me and the president of the club, by the way, I, should, I haven't mentioned this yet, I'm personally parliamentarian. Uh, that just means that I listen to what people have to say and pretend that I take them seriously. Um, so, uh, the president of the club at the time, uh, we kind of have this sort of relationship where he kind of, uh, kind of dry and is like, he's very dry with his humor, uh, and he's like, always like jokingly like, no! Get out of here, Ryan. You know, and I tell him uh, uh, there was another eboard with uh, eboard member with him at the time, and I tell him I made a steam ham meme about the, the incident. Would you want to see it? And I th I think he was reluctant when he watched it because he was just like, no, I just made a meme. Whatever. And so I show it to him. The first few jokes, he was, like, this is a guy who doesn't really laugh that often. He was losing his shit. And then he turns to the other eboard member and just goes, This is legit. <laughs> like, and so he started the video over, actually started to pay attention, and... I, I gotta be honest. I think this is the first video that I've made where everyone sees it, gets it, and loves it. Or maybe not gets it, because you have to really... If you're not in the club, you have to know what goes on. <laughs> uh, but, um... <clears throat> yeah, I'm personally really proud of the way that turned out. What the fuck is going on? The right ear is not as strong as the left one. I, I guess it's because the wire goes in the, in the left one. Stills, really annoying. So yeah, I'm really proud about that. Again, the only regret is the mother's voice is really fucking stupid, and I wish I could redo that, but whatever. Like, I say I, I made that probably in shorter amount of time than I did the behind the meme rant. Probably because I legit spent the whole day except for, like, lunch, and I finished at around dinner time. Um, what would the steam hand mean? I just wrote the script at night, and, and but I finished like a little bit, before, like I finished it before the day really ended. E even though, like I, I, I wrote it at at night and then went to bed. It, it's not that big of a factor when it didn't take that long. And with the behind the meme rant, I woke up out of bed and saw that video and went straight to work. <laughs> uh, like legit, uh, just entire day. Like, I would say 24 hours, but like, it, that's only if you include sleep. Uh, and, and lunch. Um, so yeah, that's that. Hopefully I never have to talk about Fossil Fighters Frontier ever again, because, uh, uh, that game is shit. But, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, those are those videos. Personal fan, I'm, I'm probably my biggest fan in all this. I really don't care what you think, I'm, ju I'm just telling the world the creative process behind this. Um, the majesty. I really should zoom in a lot more. Hang on. Ooh, that's that's nicer. Hey.
All right, so the one that I made uh, after that was a uh, 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 direct quotes number two. That was a uh, that was fun. That was really fun to make. Uh, I I just literally text my friends and my sister and just be like, "Yo, give me some quotes," and they they're like, "What well, for?" I'm like, "Shut up, don't worry." <laughs> That was, that was a lot of fun to make. I had a lot of fun with that. I would argue it's almost as, it, it, it's just as good as the original. There is surprisingly a lot of humor you can derive out of changing each word to a synonym, in a sense. Uh, yeah, there's not much to talk about that, as I kind of explained everything in that video anyway. Like, I, I'm probably even repeating myself now. I, 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 in fact, I know I am. Uh, and yeah I don't know why it took me so long to make a second one but I really wanted to make a second one and I knew that's exactly how I would go about doing it so I would ask my friends and I just had so much time on my hands because like the summer started and work was finally slowing down and I have free time now uh, I probably could have made a lot more stuff but uh, I had an internship over the summer uh, I was at a um, I was at Northwell, uh, Northwell Health. I don't, need, I don't mean to brag, but I'm brag. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was fun. People were nice. I like them. Yeah. They gave me a pop socket, so it's kind of hard for me to to hate them. <laughs> it's hard for me to have any uh, negative feelings whatsoever. I, I just had free time, so I'm like, I'll make a sequel to a video I've been wanting to do for a while. So I did it. It's not, it's not much I can talk about with that video. <laughs> Surprisingly, I want to talk about falsifiers, and I did about stupid sense experiments. Ugh. So the, the last video that I've been doing, uh, that I've been, the, the, the last video that I made is wrong with me? The last video that I made was one that I've been wanting to do for about a year since uh, since the video actually probably went up. Uh, I found a I found something in the closet of my house, not not even in my room, just like in the hallway, and it was a board game uh, that was Yu-Gi-Oh themed, and I just see. The models of the player pieces, and I just knew I have to record this. This is so impossibly amazing, so fucking gorgeous. I would be doing this world a disservice if I did not hold a record of. Not even just that it existed. What they just look like. I, I didn't even care about the board game itself. I just did it because, you know, I had it. I might as well have done it. I had a lot of fun making that video. Uh, I probably made it longer than it needed to be by going over the monsters that were playable. Like, I didn't even, like, mention. There were, like, a lot. I think Time Wizard had another thing where it was, like, you, like all the numbers were the same on each row or something. Or some, there was some other ones around. There's probably time to but honestly, no, wait, wait, no, no, it wasn't time. I think it was Rude Kaiser. I think that's what it was. I really don't remember. I don't, I don't care. You care? I don't care. Uh, and I just want to look over it because, like, you know, it's old. It's funny to make fun of things. The board game is literally Clue, and. It, the game stops. The, the game shops in the corners of the board. I thought, what is this? Some generic game shop? No, that's literally the shop that Yugi's grandpa owned in the freaking show! And. I, I, I kind of didn't realize until after. I'm also a big fan of the thumbnail that I used.
them. That's probably one of my favorite thumbnails to take. Although the, the Fossil Fighters rant, that one I really like too. I, I will say. Um, yeah, those those two are. That's just like a meme that I made, technically as a thumbnail. So technically, yeah, I, I like it in terms of just being a thumbnail. But you feel like the possible. I also love the titles that I used for them. Um, I believe uh, for the Fossil Fighters one, I, I wrote, Yeah, Fossil Fighters Frontier is less than the ideal standard of what a video game should be. And then, on, I'm, I'm going off the rails with these titles, and I, I'm personally a big fan. Uh, <laughs> steamed hams, but if it was spe specifically referential to a joke within my friend group, and, um, I unboxed an old Yu-Gi-Oh! board game that's literally, like, just didn't. Like, okay. The Fossil Fighters title is probably my favorite title within my entire channel. It's, it's just, it's, it's just perfect. Um. But yeah, that, that's what I have to say as of right now. Uh, in terms of YouTube, uh, in terms of other things, um, uh, Minesweeper on Instagram liked my stuff. Uh, I said thank you in, in an Instagram story, and then he DM'd me three heart emojis. So that was that was cool. Thank you, Minesweeper. Check out his music. Uh, it's really good. I'm a, I'm a fan of the Epidemic EP. That was nice. Um, Yeah, that's uh, that's about it for now. There's not really much else to talk about. Uh, so yeah, I'm working on continuing the Nuzlocke. Uh, in terms of other ideas, um, I want to make a video just talking about the music I've made in the past because, like, I released an album. That uh, like, once a year for three years, and now I'm just kind of done. Like, honestly, I was done at two albums, and I just made the third one, so bored one day. So, hey, let's do that. Now I, I think I've actually officially run out of good, I should emphasize good, loops in GarageBand to utilize. Uh, other than that, there's not really much that I have personally planned on, uh, doing in the future. Uh, definitely let me know, like, what you want me to do, because I don't have, I, I, I'm unoriginal, I don't have any good ideas. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm doing a fucking no time, I feel like no one might be bothering, like, recording it, like, I don't even have, like, video footage. <laughs> no, it's because people prefer listening to stupid little podcasts instead of watching Let's Play. I don't know what. Okay, that's too many fakeouts. Done. I'm gonna leave before I actually, like, piss people off. It's too late for that, you bitch! Uh, so yeah. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and ring my bell. To... And that's how a song goes. <laughs> I was just making noises. Uh, do the things to make sure you know when I do things next time. Yeah, also, um, check out my stuff on SoundCloud. I know I already kind of mentioned it, but I, I really like the stuff that I've made. I, but I would love to hear you guys tell me how much uh, it stinks. Uh, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well in order to uh, see more really bad memes be posted. Uh, mostly at my expense, but potentially at other people's expenses. Uh, thank you all so much for watching and tolerating my bullshit. Um, we are almost at 30 subscribers, which honestly, I'm surprised I even have one. So, uh, again, thank you for that. Uh, I know it's m mostly just my friends and some random dickheads online that are just clicking the button for no reason, but honestly, if, like, whether you are a friend or a dickhead, I do appreciate uh, the uh, 
recognition. Uh, it's the ego. All right, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna head out right now. All right, thank you very much again. Oh no, please, please keep applauding. Oh, my, ah, please. Oh, I'm, I'm so honored. Thank you. You can't stop me. <laughs>